Welcome, welcome everybody to another episode of No Balls, No Glory. I'm the one and only the People's Champ. You heard by myself tonight. Right now, somebody else join me. They don't join me, just like it's the champ. Champ is gonna be the only one, and I take that back. Like I said, uh the one and only the me and semi baseball hall of famer, the people's champ, the national semi pro baseball hall of famer, the people's champ is in the building. And I'm here by myself. Hall of Famer, baby. H O F or baby. People's champ. National Semi-Pro Baseball Hall of Fame, baby. Check it out. Take it out and let y'all see it. Get a look at it. National Semi-Professional Baseball Hall of Fame. How? St. Louis Wildcats, baby. Hall of Famer, man. H-O-F for baby. H-O-F for baby. That's what I am, man. Hall of Famer, baby. Like I say, man, I don't do this by myself. I do it with my crew, the crew. But like I'm doing it tonight by my damn self. Huh? Ain't nobody here with me. It's solo bolo. But it is what it is, man. Y'all yeah, know how it is, man. The champ is here by itself. We come and chop it up on some sports, man. We're going to come to you real smooth, man. Just to let y'all know about these NCAA men and women championships, man, that went on and everything. Uh, a lot of good a lot of good stuff that's going on in the world of sports, man. NCAA has came and gone, man. Shared a good time with the championship. Man, NC2A, you don't want to miss the NC2A, man. Uh, good sports, man. Good competition, man. A lot of good stuff with the NC2A, man. Uh, they were here. They chopped in. And uh, they did it, man. Good good night of sports uh, headed in front of you. We got CC the First Lady. Who decided to bring our ass in? Look, CC in the building. It's your girl, CC, the first lady. I am. I was being a good daughter. So leave me alone, man. Okay. That's what's up. CC being a good daughter tonight, man. So I'm going to leave her alone. The, the, the big guy's TV went out. So I had to go get him a TV, have my brother pick it up. And I'm just now leaving from signing in. You know, I got about 45,000 apps, sir. Oh, that's why we love you, CC. <laughs> <laughs> that's why we love you, girl, because uh, you are a black Mexican. <laughs> so, man, man. You are a black Mexican. Yes, I am. It ain't nothing uh, wrong with that, man. I got to change my, I got to change my background to my new favorite player. Oh, uh, old girl, huh? My new favorite player. Damn, not your new favorite player. Yeah, I'm official. I'm a. Uh, I'm officially a Gamecock fan. I heard that. I have jumped on the bandwagon, and I ain't, and I am not. Um, I am not ashamed to say so. I'm a Gamecock fan, and I'm not ashamed to say so. What you saying? You're not ashamed to say so, huh, C? Uh, not, not at all. I, I know we're going to get into it, but that right there is my girl, Fish. You say, you say it's official like a ref with a whistle, huh? Yeah. Hold on, Chad. I'm, I'm, being some, I'm being summoned by the big guy. Hold on. Hold tight one sec. Okay. She see being signed by Pops and everything. Hold 
And uh, while she being summoned by Pop, we gonna chop it up. Man, we gonna just chop it. We gonna chop it on up, talk these sports. Talk the talk and walk the walk. Sports is the talk. Sports is the walk. You do it every day. You can't bark or balk. That's that's what sports is, man. Sports is the medicine that heals the soul, man. It heals the world, man. Sports is that medicine, man. Sports is that medicine. Sports is the one that heals all wounds globally. Sports globally. I was laughing, man. Uh, trying to make sure we do what we do with the podcast. Make sure we doing, we chopping it up. We uh, doing what we have to do on our side. Getting the sports talk in. Day by day, week by week, month by month. We want to get it in, man. We want to get it in. I try to do, try to bring this to you, man, with the sports gurus, man, when they when they hear, man, I want this to be big time, man. I want us to go next level with this, man. That's what I want to do, man. I want us to all go next level with this, man. No balls, no glory. And this can be something special, man. This could be a full-time job for us. Man, we got to get everybody in the support. Who you man. tell? Who you tell? We don't, we, don't, we don't want to work hard. We want this to be our job, man, that we love doing, man. Because when you love something, it don't seem like it's a job. Am I right, CC? You're absolutely 1,000% right. Because, man, I love this. I'm passionate. I'm with you, see? You got to love it. You're passionate about it. You got to do what we got to do. Man, you hey. just got to love it, man. Cool. Hold on. Hello. If we if we can get so if we can get half the people that show the passion that we show that show the that show the um that we show, man. We 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 be all right. Hold on. We'll be all right. You know what? You know what would be the greatest part about it is if we can make it big. What's that, C? I can hire somebody to be my personal assistant so my family can quit calling me to do crap. That's it. Like, I swear, today is one of them days where it seemed like could nobody find their butthole without me. Hey, man, that's what they do, man. They they get dependent on us. Right. So, like, I'm I'm literally driving right now on podcast because I had to come out to North County. Take care of pops, man. Hey, look, that's it. I'm going, out of, town. I'm going out of town Thursday. So, where you go, where you going to Thursday? Okay. Dallas. I'm going to Atlanta. My, How long um, you got to Sunday. Uh -huh. My goddaughter has a capstone performance. She goes to Spelman. It's her senior year. Oh, okay. You so, flying so we, now? No, we driving. How many of y'all going? Is you, you and your daughter? Me, my mama, my daughter, and my grandbaby. And it's, it's going to be like about 10 of us total that's going to be down there to support her. Is your sister going down? Your sister going to fly down? Oh, uh, no. My sister, no. She's she, she, she going to be stuck at the office trying to figure out how to turn the computer on without me. Damn. That's cold blood to see. I'm just saying. It's cold blood. Man, I got a phone call when I was on vacation. When I was on vacation for my birthday on how to get the voicemails. 
You tell me it's cold blooded. Yeah, but man, sometimes, man, hey, you you that person they need, man. See, that's why I said, you know, it, it, I I I have to take it with a grain of salt sometimes. Like appreciative of the fact that people trust me with so much. It just at the times it'd be like, y'all literally could call somebody else because it'd be some minor stuff. But what the Bible say, to whom much is given, much is much required. is required. I understand all of that, sir. I'm just I'm just reiterating so you can really don't forget what's required of you. I know. I so you can so you can see what, what you have to do and everything and what's what's required in your world and everything. And you know, you know how that is. All right. Hey, did you, you know get the you see you see that run sheet I put in there? I got the run sheet. I got the run sheet. I don't know if I if anything happened today that I was supposed to put on there, I didn't I didn't get but you know what I figured? I figured today it wasn't gonna be a heavy football day. Like spending too much time on football. I don't know. Did y'all even talk about the the digs trade last week for we, real? We did talk about digs. Right. I mean, it's not a whole lot. Until this draft happens, it ain't gonna really be a lot of lot of. But like the but, NCAA gave us a a wonderful weekend. They did. It gave us an absolute wonderful weekend. Also made me look at some other stuff too, because when some when they popped up something about the viewing, made me go back and look at NBA Finals viewing over the last ten years. To see how it was, huh? Right. Hey, we got some. We got somebody that didn't fell in again. Who who else has showed up late to work with me? I don't know. Are they later than I am? Yeah, I saw somebody with a hat. I saw it. they had the camera on and it went right back off screen. Who was that? No. If it is a hat, it's either West Ten. It ain't Coach West Ten or Coach Corey because they not. If Dino got a hat on, I'm gonna fall over. I don't think Dino's got a hat on, man. Whoever it is, they're still trying to connect. Trying to throw. Try to throw some. I thought trying to throw the hockey thing in there. Uh, you know, give us an update because we got to tell him about himself. He, he he ain't did no hockey update in a minute. Right. He ain't did no hockey update in a minute. I don't know what's going on with that. We got we got to show we got to show the ice brothers some love too, man. Especially since the hockey playoffs kick off on four twenty. That is hilarious. Right. No, what's really hilarious is that Easter is on 420 next year. Is it? Yes. Oh, shit. <laughs> that is going to be a very interesting... Um... Easter... Easter is on 420. Easter is on 420. Huh? Oh, my God. Uh, me and Cece were just talking. Easter next year falls on 420. 420 is the weed day. Oh. <laughs> boy, could you imagine church services, man, next week? I mean, next year, boy, on Easter. That's going to be hilarious. They're already coming high. Man, they already come in. You ain't lying. They come in high, but they're going to be even high next year, boy. Hey. But they're going to be high with a purpose. They're going to be high for a reason. Yeah, I say, what up, though? Vanessa say, what up, though? What's up, Nessa? What's up?
That's who that is. I said, is Coach, Coach Corey in the spot? Okay, I can't hear you, Coach. You hear us? He at the spot. He at Mia Wood Sports Bar and Grill, baby. That's where the Dude, good coach I, is, man. I almost had to go up to Mia Woods Friday. Coach Corey, you there at Mia Wood Sports Bar and Grill, baby. I can't hear you say nothing, man. You hear me, champ? What'd you say? You had to go up to Media Woods on Friday. I, I hear you. I'm trying to get set up, man. My camera and everything is, is not good, but I'm trying to get set up. So bear with me, Corsair. Oh, man, you know oh. we're going to bear with you, brother. Always. Yeah, no. Spectrum was doing some crazy stuff. And my internet was down the whole, whole time I was at work, right? Uh-huh. So I'm like, I'm like, bro, if y'all don't get this stuff together before I get home, I'm gonna have to go up to Millwood so I can watch this uh these this girl's final four. I'm not missing this. You said she ain't missing that for nothing. I was not, I was not, I was not missing it. You said she I missed too much missing it for nothing. I miss it. I miss too many of the girls' games this year. I'll tell you one thing. I bet you I won't miss none of them next year. You said she ain't missing a thing next year. I ain't, I ain't missing none of them next year. And that's a fact, huh? Yeah, I don't have... I don't have... Say I that again, you. Coach. Can y'all tell me how, how do I look? I'm in front of the Chiefs banner, so I can't really tell my hand. It's fooling with this camera. You say you're in front of the Chiefs banner? Yeah, he want to know how you look. I can't look because I'm driving. How does my, so. well, how does my like, background look? You look like new money, baby. New money, baby. Trying to uh, keep us in the good graces of Millwood Sports Bar and Grill, man, because we because I haven't been here in a minute because of everything going on with the family. So I'm trying to trying to keep us in here with the Cardinals and the Phillies going on tonight. Uh, a few other things going on around in the sports world, man. But I'm here. Yeah, you got, yeah, you got a lot going on tonight. You got that going on. You got a bunch of – like the NBA is – everybody's playing for something right about now. So I got a question. I got a question, Chad. How's my background noise? Is it is it bad or is it good? It's okay. It's it, it, it's, got, it's, it's 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 manageable now, Coach. Yeah, it is. It's manageable because I can hear everything you're saying. Uh, I'm gonna try to turn it down a little bit. We hear How's that? Ah, right, that's good, man. Okay. All right, man. Hey, Jeff. Uh, what's up, C? What's up? I got a question. If 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 the Bucks end up in five, if the Bucks end up in, what you say? You. I can't hear you, Coach. You on mute. What you say, oh, man, CZ? I'm trying to get my food order together, man. Quit, quit air hustling oh. me. Dog. My fault, right. dog. I, I just saw you. I just saw your lip moving. I'm like, God damn. He wasn't what talking to you. CC, what you say? If the Bucks end up 500. 500 on the Doc Rivers, what does that do for you and Dino's bet? Hey, man. He said, hey, 500 is a winning record. So I win. Oh. Okay. It's, 500 is a winning record, dog. <laughs> Cause you about you like two. You got they need to win one more game for you. Oh man, I'm a, I'm already ahead of the curve, man. So I'm I'm a pretty damn good shape. No, they two games under 500 with Doc. No, they not. You yes, they are. Yes, they are. Man. There are two games under 500 with Doc. Two games under with Doc. Hey, man. 
I mean, let me go. I got to do this. I, I, I don't believe. Hey, hey, I got, I got, I got philosophy. Trust but verify. Okay, you can trust but verify, but they two games with the five. They are fifteen to sixteen underneath Doc Rivers. Well, they win a game. They are fifteen to six since Rivers took over. They are fifteen and sixteen. So they got to win tonight. They play in Boston. Who they got they're tonight? Lucky. <laughs> they're lucky. They're lucky. They're gonna they're win tonight. Boston. They're playing they Boston, win. and Boston has nothing to play for. The other so problem is the problem that they have, though, right? It's not the Boston game. It's the rest of them. They play the Knicks. They play. Uh -huh. No, listen. They play the Knicks. They play the Magic, and I believe they play the Timberwolves. Well, to give you a, to give to give you a quick heads up, they are uh, beat Boston sixty three to forty three at the half. Because Boston has nothing to play for. Absolutely nothing. Boston can lose the the only thing that Boston risks by losing too many games at the end of the season is the momentum that they go into the postseason with. That's it. Because yeah. nobody because nobody can That's catch it. them. Like nobody yeah. can catch them on either side. But the Knicks and Orlando need to win because they fighting each other for home court in that first round. The Timberwolves are in a three-way, almost dead tie with the Nuggets and the OKC Thunder for the one seed. So oh, everybody okay. else they got to play, everybody else the Bucks got to play, got something to play for. So they are they are definitely playing some. Right. So that's that's where it gets a little shaky with the Bucks. And with the Bucks. I, I ain't even talk about what just ran across my screen. Anthony what? Davis out tonight versus the Warriors with a headache and nausea. What is this motherfucker pregnant or something? He got a headache and nausea. And he's sitting out against the war. What is, is he pregnant? Know, he might be. I wouldn't he put might him. be, dog. You know what? He got bro? hit in the head the other night. He got a concussion. He got a concussion. He got hit in the head. Hey, man. He a headache head and head nausea. He pregnant, man. He pregnant, man. That's all I'm gonna say, man. He pregnant, man. Hey, man. Hey, man. Uh, let's go to MLB. Hey, man. Uh, Shout out to Tyler O'Neill for having more home runs in the whole Cardinals organization. <laughs> Damn. Hey, man. Julio Urias, man. Is he had another home run. Five misdemeanors, man. The charges filed by Los Angeles County Superior Court. Uh, include spousal battery, one count of false imprisonment, one count of assault, two counts of domestic battery involving dating relationships. Five misdemeanors. Does that warrant a suspension, man? Do you suspend somebody over five misdemeanors? I mean, I don't, I don't know what the major league uh, baseball. Uh, rules are with their CBA and everything, what their rules are so like if that were to happen in the NFL or the NBA, yeah, you're getting suspended. But hey, it's it's one count of spousal abuse, one count of false imprisonment. That means he must have, he must, he must have, I don't know what false imprisonment. How can a citizen get false imprisonment? One count of assault, two counts. He held up. He had a without, he had a without a wheel against the wheel. Yeah, no, um, yeah. Ain't wouldn't that be considered? Yeah. Basically, that boils down. <coughs> no, because it was probably in their own house that they're living in together. So she probably wanted to leave, and he wouldn't let her leave. So that's why they come up with that charge. Kidnapping oh, is taking her somewhere. Hey, or he took her keys and didn't give them back to her, right? 
would there be some somewhere along the lines? She said, give me my keys. I'm yeah. not giving you nothing. So, yeah. okay, I got you. Uh, what, you know, uh, I mean, two counts also- of domestic battery involving dating relationships. Misdemeanors, I mean, but, but misdemeanors, though, man. I mean, I guess the L.A. County, uh, L.A. The County. misdemeanors because. They misdemeanors because she don't want to press charges because she still want his money. Oh, okay. He is currently a free agent that is scheduled to be arraigned May 2nd. Oh, well, heck, they ain't got to suspend him. Ain't nobody going to pick him up. They go pick him up. He's a hell of a pitcher. Right. They go pick his ass up. Shit. Oh, okay. They hey, they will pick him up. Not the way they doing Trevor Bauer. They may not. Uh, Trevor. They may not. The way they doing Trevor Bauer. They may they may not. Uh, I mean, that's okay. You got you got him out there. We might like, make an example. Yeah, so it's already somebody out there that went too far with it, right? So he might get made an example out of because they can't they can't not not do nothing. But here's the only difference. Here's the only difference. Trevor Bauer was accused of rape and sodomy. Yeah. So that that's a little bit different, but it's not for real. It's not the meat it is not different in, in, in in the in the sense of the charges, right, is very different, but in the big scheme of thing, it's not because you got two guys really acting a fool, right? You you really doing something ridiculous. That's how I look yeah. at it. You really doing something ridiculous <laughs> as a grown man. Hey man, hey, so hey. they should. Be they should be put in the same car. Put in the same boat, huh? Mm-hmm. Yeah. You gotta make an example out of some people, man. Yeah, because because then the rest of the league don't will understand. Because if they start doing everybody the same way, the next no. guy that go to put his hands on a you woman or do all treat. this. They're going to think, oh, man, my career about to be over. Right. And then you stop. Then you don't do it. They need to think about it, you man. Know, so you, you got to, yeah, you, you got to break the pattern somehow. And if it has you, to be an extreme, it has to be an extreme. Because these guys just ain't getting it. Hey, what's the old saying? Coach down, believe fat be greasy, dude. Yeah, yeah. What what happened was that they did they did some stuff. It's kind of like uh, y'all remember the movie The Program, right? Oh, when La- when Latimer uh mm-hmm. did that, yeah, when Latimer did it to the uh to one of the boosters' daughter and stuff, she and Prince right. Charles, yeah, Prince Charles because he was a because he was a big booster to the program. So they had to say that Latimer was injured and put him out on injury. When, when, they when, when, they, when, when, when they when they sent him to rehab, I got you. No, they, they sent him to rehab. They just they because they, they, they had not tested him. They figured he was right. Yeah, but because he had not failed a test yet. And they sent him. They said it was an injury, and they was gonna be out for three weeks, three games because of an injury. And he had three weeks to get those roids out of his system, and that the coach was gonna start testing him before every single game. Personally, but they couldn't suspend him. They had never tested him. And you go. And you gonna have me go back and watch the program, man. Hey man, hey, also in Major League Baseball. This is a really good movie. Hey, 
Trevor Story, man, uh, have season in the secretary. Let me share this with you guys, man. And I want y'all to see this, man. I want y'all to see this, man. None since then. Hot shot. Diving play by Story, but he cannot. Oh, no. Oh, he's, oh in, no. he's in pain here. He is writhing in agony and had a hand on the shoulder. He made a sensational stop on it. He was not going to get it out and landed on that shoulder, apparently. In this game, Story's already made a phenomenal play. Hey man, season ending shoulder surgery, man. So he had a fracture in his left uh shoulder, man, on that dive. That's tough, wow. man. That was, a, that, was, that was a tough one right there, man. Yeah, that's tough. He made a hell of a stop. And him to I don't he I don't know what happened to get a fracture in your in, in your shoulder, man. I saw the way he dove and everything. What do you think was the issue, Coach, man? Because he went in the hole, dove. And if you and if you see it again. I think he just I think he just landed wrong, man. I mean, those guys with so much speed. None since then. And the way they burst. Hot shot. I just the story, impact probably heard it. Here it is right here. I think Hot shot. I think the impact. Story, but he cannot. Oh, no. Oh, he's, oh in, no. he's in pain. Well, he, you, see he, the, you, you see the angle on the shoulder? See how his, his, if you can go back and pause it. His hot shot. Hot. What do you want me to pause it, coach? Right, right there is good. You see how his glove and his body is arched up, and his 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 body his his body, his shoulder and his arm makes a triangle. Yeah. That triangle is way, way too deep. And, and what I mean by that is the height of his shoulder to the ground uh -huh. with, along with his body. When you see his arm where his glove is, the apex of his shoulder and his body, look at the great big space between his shoulder and the ground. When you hit the ground, where does that the impact of that shoulder have to go? That shoulder down. is going to continue. Gravity is going to continue to push that shoulder down to the ground. Yeah. So look at the distance the shoulder is going to travel down to the ground. And, and what's going to stop that shoulder from coming out of socket? Or it's just like the force of his whole entire body is coming down to the ground and it's going to flatten out that arm. But, but, but do you think it, so that's how you get that. But, but hold on, let's look at it in full, full motion. None since then. Hot shot. When you, Diving play by story, but he cannot. Oh no. Oh, he's oh, in, no. he's in pain here. He is writhing in agony and had a hand on the shoulder. He made a sensational stop on it. He was not going to get it out and landed on that shoulder, apparently. In this game, Story's already made a phenomenal play. <laughs> And I'll be the first to tell you, 
tell uh -huh. Yeah, I'll be the first to tell you. You, you right? I can't hear you, Coach. We okay. I, I hear we you now. work um, on our knees. Uh -huh. I said, I said we start working on diving with infielders from their knees, uh -huh. and and we start with showing them placement of their glove and their body, and and it's always a dive low to the ground. It's never high. And it's just for that reason, because if you're lower to the ground, uh -huh. the distance of your shoulder and your arm getting to the ground is lower. And I yeah. think that prevents some of the impact. It's not going to prevent all the impact. And, and, and don't get me wrong, I'm not a genius. I'm not a guru. But I just think that kind of helps. The lower you it, are to the ground, he'll break that to fall, to man. From having, yes. And I just think when he dove, the way that glove was and the height of that shoulder, the impact of his body coming down to the ground was just uh -huh. going to blow that shoulder out. And I, I, I hate it, man, because I really like Trevor's story. I think he is a hell of a shortstop. Well, man, I wouldn't have thought that they were talking I, about I, that today because I was watching. I wouldn't have thought season ended though, Coach. I, I, I mean, I could have seen like a couple months and stuff, but I guess uh, he must have went in there and really. Dude, that's a six. That's a six month. Wow, man, that's a little. I was listening to them today against the Orioles. Six months. It's going to take six months. The season over in six months. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Damn. Six-month recovery six months, process. Dude, that, that, that's horrible. Man. Yeah. Damn, man. I hate that for him, man. Man, because that dude is a good Man, he don't deserve that one, man. To shore up their defense, and now, now they're in trouble because now they lost today because the shortstop today kicked a couple of balls, real, really, 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 really bad. Oh, uh, let me see who they had at shortstop today. Hamilton. They had a young kid at uh, Hamilton. David Hamilton. Yeah. He kicked a couple, man. And it's all because of his feet. The ball was hit hard. Yeah, you got to play with your feet. You feel ground balls with your feet. And his feet were not ready on the two ground balls that got by him and it led to big runs. Yeah. The Myers hurt, boy. Hurt big time. It hurt, dog. <laughs> hey, hey, ball games are winning. Look, hey, Dino said, give him 10 minutes, man. Hey, but yeah, that that uh that did cost him, man, because uh they lost it uh seven to five. No, they lost seven to one to the or uh to the Orioles today. Uh your team, your boys playing coach, they down one nothing in the uh, bottom of the fifth to the Cardinals, man. They're down one to nothing. Yes, sir. Sonny Gray is making his Cardinal debut today. Sonny Gray is on the hill for the Cardinals. Sonny, Sonny Gray. Uh, we'll see what those. Sonny ain't doing too bad, I heard, man. No, they're down one nothing on the on the backs of a home run by uh, Goldsmith. What's that boy named? Second base. No, the second baseman. Uh, you talking about uh, Gorman? Gorman. Yeah, Nolan Gorman. I mean, not Nolan, Nolan Gorman, Gorman, but Gorman. No, yeah. No, Gorman hit no, home run. <clears throat> no, Nolan Gorman. Yep, that's his name, Nolan Gorman. He had a solo shot. Yep. But they got they got Zach yep. Wheeler going though, man. They got Zach Wheeler going for uh Philly, man. So, and we know Kyle Schwarber has his way with the uh, he has his way with the doggone Cardinals, man. 
I don't know what it is, but Kyle Schwarber usually has his way. Sonny Graydon struck out Harper twice, man, and sh- struck out JT Real Muto twice. So, uh, Sonny Gray dealing, man. He got five strikeouts, man, and he struck out Castellanos. But uh, yeah, he 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 dealing, coach. He dealing, man. Willing and dealing is what we call it, man. Yeah. Willing. I hope the Cardinals don't run Sonny Gray into I'm the ground. Trying gra- to get Keely on. Reds are winning. Uh, Reds are losing nine to three to the Brewers. Marlins are uh, losing three to nothing to the Yanks. Uh, Blue Jays <laughs> winning five to nothing to the Mariners. The Braves are beating the Mets five to nothing in the bottom of five. Houston are beating Kansas City three to nothing. Dodgers are beating the Twins six to nothing. Athletics are losing two to one to the Rangers. Diamonds <laughs> are beating the Rockies two to one. Then you got games that's getting ready to start a little bit. Angels and Rays, Giants and Nationals, Padres and Cubs, man. They get ready to kick off at the later games tonight, man. So, like I say, baseball is just really getting underway, getting started, and we're doing what we're doing, man. NHL. Uh, let's see where we at on the NHL standings. See where everybody's at. <laughs> the Blues are still alive, man. They are still alive, man. Uh, mathematically, they're still alive, man. But uh, West 10 and the National Predators, they're a little bit in front of us, man. Uh, yeah, Blues are still alive, CC. I ain't gonna yeah. lie to you, they, they they still alive. They are still alive. They are on a heart monitor, but they are alive. <laughs> what you say, Coach? They're on the monitor. They're on a heart monitor, but they are alive. Yes. <laughs> you got to get a defibrillator for them, Coach. They play the Blackhawks so, tomorrow, man. At at, at uh, Enterprise, they play the Blackhawks tomorrow, man. So NFL, man. Let's go segue on over to our NFL for a little minute. Uh, the draft is a couple, a little bit away, man. You see my breaking news? Oh yeah. <laughs> Has an NFL team. <laughs> hey, D- Dino does have a team. Dino is officially a Houston Texan now. I don't know how long this go last. Hey, coach. Hey, when the Texans start losing, is Dino gonna jump ship? I don't know why. <laughs> Man, I doubt it. He probably ain't. Shit, as much as he keep talking about Tennessee, I wish he'd leave Tennessee alone. Tennessee sucks in basketball. Oh, man. He, hey, man. I don't know. I quit. Every hey. time he get a chance. Tennessee, Tennessee is doing, UConn is doing exactly what Tennessee wouldn't do. Drive the wall at Purdue. Man, it wouldn't have made no good. Never mind. Tennessee was not good enough to beat Purdue on any damn day. Give it up. Let that hey. shit go. Hey man, you know how Dino Tennessee always, was not gonna be Purdue. Just give it up. Quit talking you know, about it. Coach, you know how Dino give me a hard time and say I'm a Ravens fan and I'm a uh, a part-time Saints fan. Dino is a Carolina fan and a part-time volunteer, man. I don't even know if he really should be with the uh with the with the heels, man. He shouldn't hey, he should even be a tall heel, man. He he's sometimey, man. <laughs> Man. I don't I know what he love with Tennessee, but God, they are not as good as he thinks they are. No, Goodness man. Grace, give it up. And like, I told, like I said, when it comes to college basketball, on the men's side, he's been way too many one and done. I couldn't. After Jordan left North Carolina, 
many. There was too many one and done. It became like the team shifted too much and they ain't gonna do all of that. Mm-hmm. The only college basketball team I'm gonna ride for right now is gonna be the Lady Game Conference. I just, I just like, I like how, I like how what Don Staley has done. I'm gonna sit back watching it. I kind of like, and I, I like how she coaches. Hey man, hey, uh, we, hey, I was looking at the news today. Uh, uh. Defensive lineman, NFL prospect, Tavondre Sweat was arrested Sunday afternoon, man, and booked in Travis County Jail on suspicion of uh, driving while under the influence. He ain't even in the damn league yet. And they locked him up for driving under the influence, man. Right? Well, this impact his draft stock. What, you think it's going to impact the draft stock, CC? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, man, we always good at messing up. So what happened is, he ain't even it, got money yet, and he's blowing it. it ain't, What'd it you ain't say, Coach? Going, he ain't even got he ain't money even yet. Got he got money yet, huh? Yeah, so it's, it's not like Ooh. so. What happened is he'll get drafted, right? But what happened is. He gonna fall so far in the draft, he not gonna get the money that he would have once got. He gonna mess and up you know money. what's gonna happen? The money he get, his money gonna have all kind of stickers on. Right? Hey, do you think? Do you, you know think, what I mean by stickers? Hey, yeah. they gonna they they gonna make his incentive base safety. They are gonna incentivize the crap out of that contract. They gonna oh, they, they gonna incentivize his stickers. contract, huh? Cause you can't do this, you can't do that. He's projected to go early. He's, he's projected early. to go in the second round, man. He might not go in the second round. He might go. I mean, cause <coughs> let's be real. I mean, you got to look at him too. He was a Big Twelve Player of the Year, and he won the Outland Trophy for the best defensive lineman. Yeah, all that don't mean nothing when you about to go in the league and you just got pulled over for driving under the influence. It don't, man. Dino's in the building. Dino. What up, Dino? You got your text yet? That cocksucker, he here. Is, hey, did y'all get that? Yeah, we got, we got that. that. I got my soundboard back. And I heard oh, y'all okay. talking greasy. heard y'all talking greasy about me and my, my teams, dog. Yeah, we did, <laughs> man. We same shit. I never, hey, man, I never said I wasn't a Tar. I never said I wasn't a Tar Heels fan. I'm more of a I'm more of a Tennessee fan in football, but I still I still pull for them in basketball. But as far as football, why, man, I'm, I'm straight Tennessee. Only team I cheer for in foot and basketball. Notre Dame. Is the Eels. And only team I cheer for in football is Notre Dame. Damn it! I don't fair. I don't waver. Nobody. Notre so Dame. So you gotta understand what we what we have. Is we have our core. So Carolina, Tennessee, they, they're part of my core. Missouri is in my core because they the home state. And that's why I went and grabbed this cap. Okay. okay. You actually have on a cap. Yeah. Hey, that's man, nice man, crispy we, too. Well, you better than me, damn it. He <laughs> hey, 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 Tavondre Swift faces a class B misdemeanor. Two thousand dollars fine and one hundred and eighty j- days in jail. Man, he crashed his SUV at four forty-one. Hey, his his agent gone. He crashed his car at four forty-one. His agent gone. But he for crashed us. his car at four forty-one a.m. Sunday on Interstate thirty-five. Bro, four forty-one. Wherever you was at, goddamn it, you could have just stayed and spent the night there. It's simple, man. If you was over a girl house, you why no, couldn't, he couldn't he? he was at a girl house supposed to be at. He, to be at. <laughs> he had to get the fuck up. He had to get the fuck. He had to get the fuck up. And a boyfriend was coming home. Cause whatever, either that or the girl he was supposed to be with was finna come looking for. Him. 
Dang. <laughs> That that's why you that's why you crash your car at that time of morning when you when you his age. I I, I put I'm I'm done with him, dog. I'm I'm done with him because it's like rinse and repeat. None of these motherfuckers learn from other people's mistakes. They just keep doing the same dumb shit. Like I'm done with him. You you want to blow your chance? That's on you. No pity. Because you every, have all the means and wherewithal to to do shit a certain way to protect yourself. Everybody you thinks that they can make. Hey, everybody that mm-hmm. has gotten drunk before, they say it ain't nothing but around the corner. That's what they always fall short at. <laughs> the, do it it. the do it fluid. The do it fluid. The do it fluid. They say I can make it, man. Everybody that get drunk and get behind the wheel, they say I can make it. That's what they okay, fall is, short at. Is, I can make it. There are two times in professional sports where you need to really sit your behind down. It's the month of the month leading up to free agency, trade deadline, and draft day. You forgot one. What? Before you sign your damn contract. And before you sign your contract, yes, like those are those are benchmarks. Like when those around those times, it's called you drink at home by yourself, or invite people right. over to drink at your house so you don't have to worry uh, about driving. No, no, don't invite nobody over. That, that, that's a better idea <laughs> because Please. you don't know because some people ain't got the best intentions. They don't. They don't. They don't. don't they do over. not. Do not buy nobody over. Drink at home by yourself. That's when you find. Hey, if you ain't got, a, if you ain't got a woman, like a wife or or a steady girlfriend, get some chick to believe that that's your woman for the next month. No, <laughs> I got a better yeah, idea. No, CC. No, no, I got no, a better no. idea. Just, you don't want to do I'm that. Telling you, just, just fucking pay for it. Hey, does it work out better for you in the end? Just pay hey, for man, the shit. You don't want to make up this seem like that she gonna be his girl after till he get that sign that contract. Cause yeah, recklessly like, look, she gonna come up for it. We gonna she we won't... gonna kick it for the weekend. How much you want? All right, sign this NDA. Crazy. We gonna kick it, and then that's just gonna be the end. And I'm gonna pay your ass and be done with it. Uh, so she uh, can't uh, come uh, back later uh, and talk about grape, false hey. alligator, assault, none of that shit. Nope, we had an agreement. Hey, 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 Jay, what's up with you? Jay and Willie Jack, man, let the film speak. Willie what Jack, Brad Stockton did his own thing right now. Willie Jack be on Monday nights, man. We got to check Willie Jack out, man. Hey, uh, Jay, we talking about, uh, we talking about Trayvon Sweat, man. I mean, uh, uh, what's his name? Trevon Sweat or Devon Sweat? What's his name? Tavion? Tavondre. First of all. Glock ta- Glocktavius. Tavondre. First of all, that's a, that's a problem right there, man. His name is Tavondre. So, so his mama name was Tiara, and his daddy name was Vondre, Vonte or something. Uh, so they combined know. the shit, right? Tavondre, yeah. 6'4", 328. Tavondre, Dumb man. sweat. That's what it yeah, is. Man. Dumb sweat. Dumb hey, sweat. Man. Hey man, Stupid that's the thing sweat. though, man. That was that was that was probably the most unsmartest thing he could have did, man. And and you talking about draft status, draft stock, it messes messes him up, man. Hey man, yeah, he also done. the Master Draft down. Master Draft down. Had Master Draft down. I had to hit him three times, man, for being stupid. Hey man, hey, this is something, man. Even though Kansas City, the Kansas City Chiefs, man. Or the Super Bowl champions. Not everybody in Kansas City is all the way smart. Xavier Badbar, a.k.a. Chief Saholic, is ordered to pay $10.8 million to an ex-bank teller. (laughs) Okay. The judge ordered the Kansas City Chief superfan who committed a series of bank robberies to pay $10.8 million to Bixby, Oklahoma teller uh, to Bixby, Oklahoma, teller he threatened with a gun in December of 2022. 
Your rent's due, motherfucker. And- hey, man. So tell me where the fuck he gonna get ten million dollars from if he had to steal it. I wait. Let- <laughs> Wiley known as the chief saholic to pay Peyton Garcia, the former teller, three point six million dollars for inflicting physical harm and emotional distress and seven point two million in punitive damages. Football attorney Aww. Matthew Marion did not immediately respond for requests. Of course they Damn. did. And then I, I, I'm assuming that he has the money, man. Okay, so he basically got to pay back all the money he stole. Is what it sounds like. Man, I, I want all I, the money you took. I want tonight. all my shit back. <laughs> hey, hold on, hold on, hold on, CC, CC. What you say? I want all the money you took in tonight. <laughs> tonight. <laughs> oh, man. oh man, that is funny as hell, man. Hey, I missed hey, uh hey. I, yeah y'all did y'all did touch on y'all touched on hockey. Did I miss it? Man, uh we didn't we didn't really uh touch on it for real. His net worth is only ninety thousand dollars, but he's been ordered to pay ten point eight million. Again, where the fuck is he we getting? We just said the blues was on life support. We oh, they passed the life support, dog. They like they they right up under the guillotine. I don't know why they ain't pulled the cords yet. Because it's two teams that kept them out of the playoffs, and it was two teams that they couldn't beat all fucking season. For some odd reason, they could not beat the Sharks, who only won like maybe 18 games. And they couldn't beat Nashville. If they beat them two teams, they in. So they really can't blame nobody but themselves. They got the hey, I'm just going to say this right, right now. <laughs> Ali Marmol is finna trick this game off that that gray hair. Hey man, that is that is just the craziest thing though in the NFL, man. Uh also I gotta give a big shout out to uh the New England Patriots safety man, uh Kyle Duggar, agreed to a four-year $58 million contract today. 32 million of it is guaranteed. Guaranteed the deal could be up to worth sixty-six million. Cal Duggar just got the bag today, man. Four yeah, he years. Dug him out. Yeah, four years, fifty-eight million, up to sixty-six million with incentives. Good. Good. Well, you had you had to give you had to give it the seal of approval. Nah, Chef V made made some guac guacamole, man. Yeah, and uh, it's like, yes, yeah, serve that up, please. <laughs> hey, <laughs> shout out to Chef V, man, because I'm gonna tell you, I made some hamburger helper last night, and I threw in the Chef V seasoning, and it was banging. Of course, a shout out to Chef V. He had some hamburger helping. He's doing Chef V season, and it was banging last night. What? She say what? <laughs> <laughs> oh man! Hey, that's hey, that's real talk. For everybody that know how Chef V seasoning, you're yeah, sweet, man, I'm you out. Get it. Wait, I did I get did I did I get, get a it. bottle from you, BP? You didn't you get a bottle, did. B. You did get a bottle, D. But see, my my wife is like a seasoning kind of tour, bro. We got a whole cabinet in the kitchen just full of seasonings. Hey, like, damn! If you don't have <laughs> seasoning. Chef V seasoning in your cabinet, you are asleep. You better you're losing, huh? Hey, man, you're hey, losing, and you're losing real fast. One more thing, man. Hey, uh, this Friday, this Friday night, the Captain David Doing Foundations have their having their second annual trivia night. Uh, we allowed eight people at the table, Coach Corey and Deb, me, my brother, uh, my brother uh, and his, one of his other friends, other uh, parents off the team and his wife. We are two people short of having a full table. So if anyone want to come and be a part of this on Friday night with us that know they trivia, that can answer some trivia, we welcome you. We are two people short for trivia night on Friday night. 
Tell Chevy, send my seasoning, baby. <laughs> I want to read it. St. Louis, if you guys need seasoning, let me know so I can tell Chef V, and then I'll be I'll bring some seasonings on down there with me. I mean, I need some, but I won't be here. I'm gonna read up. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna read hey, up. Hey, 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 money. CC. hey I'll hold hey, on to them for What's up? Hey, first CC. lady like, like you did like, me. Hey, I, that's what I was just gonna say, Coach Corey. He'll hold on to the seasons for you, like okay. you did him. You held hands for him. He'll hey, hold you did, to him. Hey, you did me a solid. <laughs> I hold on to him for you. Okay. It is what it is, baby. I got you, first lady. I'm what putting in my order. Hey, what you need? I'm, I'm home. Yes, sir. I got you. I'm gonna hold on to them because that, cause, cause, cause it don't be it don't be right without the Chef B season. That's it, baby. That's it. Hey, man, let's go and get off the of NBA. Hey. hey, hey, I was telling them before you came on, D. Hold on, before we get off in the NBA. Let me say something before we get off in the NBA. Shout out to the St. Louis University Women's Billikens NIT Championship. <laughs> I know we talked about South Carolina and their championship, but man, we got to give credit to the Lady Billikens on their championship at the NIT. Congratulations, ladies. Facts. Facts. Congrats. Let me hit them again. Big time. Hey, man, D, before you came on, we were talking about Anthony Davis was ruled out against the Warriors tonight because of uh, <laughs> a, a, he a headache and nausea. What I said, I said, this nigga pregnant or something? He got a headache and nausea. <laughs> 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 hey, D, no. I told him my man got hit in the head, man. He got to get crushed. He talking about my boy Craig. He had, he had to give his cat a bath. Yeah, yeah. His cat needed, oh, yeah. to, needed to be it's bathed good. thoroughly. So he can find it's himself to the Waldorf to the playoffs, man. Right. This it's dude. close to the playoffs. He's going to be hurt. Yeah, he's going to be hurt. He's about to be hurt. Jesus. Man, he pregnant, man. I, playoffs, all that day, man. <laughs> It all that, a all that, and nausea. All that, if that ain't no, if that ain't no pregnant woman symptoms. Man, you better take some fucking Pepto Bismol and get your ass out there. Hey, okay. Hey, Dino. What up? It looks like YouTube TV must have heard us complaining. They allowing oh. you to build your multi view. Yeah, where you decide what you want to see in the multi view. Yeah. Yeah, because I was like, I don't want this shitty multi-view. Like, I want to pick what I want in my four boxes. Right. They get that. So, hopefully, they got all the kinks on this worked out by the time college football rolls around. And we in there. That, that's fine, because I'm suspending my shit until football season. <laughs> yeah. <Keep back. laughs> y'all a little too expensive for me. And I can get my battle hall game for free. You cheap bastard. <laughs> Hey man, NBA playoffs starting to pit, uh, form up everything. You got your playoff playing games and everything, man. Well, uh, you have the you have the participants locked up. Hey, for the East, you have all the participants locked up. In the West, and for the West, Houston was eliminated last night. You right, see? Bye bye, yeah. Houston. <laughs> And I think I think old boy uh Trevor Easton, whatever his name is, he has learned uh -huh. not not to poke bears. Go poke bears when you can't get out on the court. Hopefully oh, his ten <laughs> huh? He's talking shit from the bench. Yes. Oh, wait a minute, he's been injured since January, right? Mm -hmm. And up until last week, they were like a half a game behind the Warriors, right? Yep. And Trevor Easton went on his Instagram page, reported a video that said, Warriors, come out and play. 
<laughs> so <And? laughs> I'm like, dude, you might want to not say that you're not playing one. Two, Houston as an organization now. has not beat the Warriors in like three years. Mm -mm. Mess the dress down. <laughs> so, get your, ass, sit down. Get your dumb ass down. <laughs> so, he's on the bench with the t shirt the last game they played, right? That said, Warriors come out and play. He's still in street clothes. Civilian. Yes. <laughs> and at Clay and at, at Clay and Steph, I think they both dropped thirty in that game. I believe they just took turns, right? <laughs> they just, they literally just took turns. But yeah, that's so Houston got eliminated. Right now, everybody, the only person that knows exactly where their seating is in the conference in either conference is Boston for real. That's the only one. They Boston got, they is got these locked up. They got the they got they, they got, got they got home court throughout the entire playoffs as long as they're playing locked. The better question is where are the Milwaukee Bucks? The hop. We were just we, we we talked about that. Just talked talk, about that. We just talked about that. So What's their record? The second half. So currently, they are fifteen and sixteen. Right. Mm. Under Doc Rivers. How many games left? There's four games left. But here's the funny part. They're play they're beating the crap out of Boston right now, right? That's so a gimme. Boston's in, they probably just resting people. Right. So Boston is yes. sixteen, right? Everybody's still playing for Boston. Get the hell out of here. Well, but they'll be sixteen to sixteen, right? <laughs> Man, stop it. They rested players, BB. Tatum playing. Everybody playing. <laughs> but here's where I get interested. They ain't playing this. hard. Here's where I get interested. You killing, you killing that glizzy, that glizzy over there, my dude. I mean, like, he's, like, turning it up, man. This is an amazing chicken, chicken sausage glizzy, man. Glizzy. This is a chicken sausage, man. Apple so. chicken sausage. I'm sorry, Chef B. Apple chicken. With, with I mean, man, you eating that mug. They eat, play Boston, right? You eating that mug like it's the last one on earth. <laughs> hey, man. Right. When you stuck to a strict diet, you got to eat like it's the last one on earth. Like, the, you didn't must didn't see the eclipse yesterday, huh? Hell no. no. I did. I took pictures of it. Oh, well, no, this where I get interested in it, right? All right. Mm -hmm. They play Orlando twice. Okay. Orlando is currently sitting in the three seed. Can they and go they up to are, two? And they are both. I mean, Milwaukee's 47 and 31, so they'll be 48 and 31. And Orlando's behind them at 46 and 32. So Orlando needs both of those games. They can move up to two. So they're going to bring it. And then they play OKC. OKC has a shot. They're one game out of first. Oof. In the West. So it could come down to that last game there. So it could come down to the last. So everybody, the last three teams that they got to play, all need their games. So your one game. gimme, your one gimme was tonight. And that the just gives us 500. The one gimme is tonight. They lose two of the next three. You lost your bet. They win. <laughs> they win two of the next three. I won my bet, right? Yeah. All right. Hey, this shit going to the wire, dog. We we should probably like. But know, they but but watch. Here, we should probably game. watch that last game. <laughs> last game. <laughs> But here, 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 how it goes. They play Orlando next, then they play OKC, and the last game of the season they play Orlando at home. It don't really matter. Yeah, they dude. still gotta, they still gotta win the game. They suck defensively, so it doesn't matter. And Orlando is not an easy win. 
I'm just hoping that the Bucks decide to rest some players since they've already locked up a spot. Like, yeah, we just gonna we're gonna rest Giannis. <laughs> and BB they don't be have a- to rest yes. anybody. Doc Rivers is gonna f it up like he always does. You know what I? You know what I? You know what I saw? I, I looked at earlier. There's somebody, one of the TV shows. I forget which one. What said it? Uh, you know how everybody's making a big deal about like some of the, the Lakers, the Warriors, and all of that stuff in there. The, 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 the season and everything. Do you know mm-hmm. the Warriors technically can end with a better record than they ended in last year? And that record last year got them 16. Ain't nobody playing no defense. Well, we said that they, they basically are getting rid of defense. Ain't nobody playing no basket, defense. Not only in basketball, it's us it's across football. They yeah, ain't get nobody, rid of defense. Ain't they can't no tackle defense, anybody in football. You literally got to win 50 games to be a 60 right now in the West. And you know what? The thing with the West right now, Golden State, the Lakers, and Sacramento, they are all – Golden State is three games out that six spot behind Phoenix. And they can get it. The Lakers are uh, uh, two and a half. Game and a half. Sacramento is one. The Pelicans and uh, the Suns are tied up. So the worst thing for LA right now is not having Anthony Davis because they can't afford for the Warriors to win this game. Because that gives them that gives them the um, tiebreaker. That gives them the tiebreaker. I mean, I, honestly, and I they, think and, that, and, and with the tiebreaker, would they play the game at uh, Golden State with the tiebreaker? Yeah. If they end up with the same record, then the Golden State automatically becomes the ninth seed, and they would they would get the home the home game. Well, the thing is, the Lakers are two and a half in front of Golden State right now. So <laughs> if they if they can just hold them off, man, but Andy yeah, Davis, they can hold them off. This is what this it. is. Honestly, the Lakers, I would as a as a fan of basketball. Remember when we were talking about um the um the ratings? Yeah. And how the game against UConn and Iowa on Friday night, the women's game, had fourteen had a million and a, a million and a half more viewers than game five of the NBA finals last year. It did. And I went back. The the women's championship game was a thousand times more entertaining than the men's championship game. The men's championship game was complete fucking garbage. I know. I I I watched it just because we I knew we was going to talk about it today, so I watched it. That's why I watched it because I I wanted. Why? 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 Why are you saying that, Dino's? Because. Because UConn is a, is a complete team that runs an offense that makes people play defense, and they have a method to their madness. It just wasn't entertaining to me. Like I'm not shitting on UConn. I you, I mean, UConn, UConn was a juggernaut. They just they ran straight through. I was UConn, just saying, just for the entertainment, it's like they were just blowing people out by like 30, 25 points the whole tournament. They won the championship yeah. game by what sixteen? Who was that? You talk about the man, the man, the man. yeah. yeah. But and, no, and, and, because and, people, people don't watch basketball for the strategy of basketball. They just want to see people run up and down the floor and dunk and do all that. UConn has a method to their manners. That's why they beat people by thirty. They wear you down. And they pass the ball around, they cut, they move, and they wear you out, and the game gets easier to them, right? As it goes on, right? That's why but, they but, beat by 30, but you want to know, but, you know yeah. what? What I was, uh, yeah, you right. They systematically wore Purdue down. <laughs> they, yeah, they did. They did. They systematically wore them down. But what, um, what, what it made me do when I saw those numbers, I went back and looked at the NBA Finals, right? Uh huh. And any fight outside, throw the bubble out because didn't nobody want to watch that apparently. Nobody mm-hmm. wants to watch the bubble. That was like 
seven million. That was that was hot trash. <laughs> that was hot trash. Nobody <laughs> nobody want to watch the bubble. But when you look at the numbers of the NBA Finals, if over the last decade or so, if it didn't include LeBron, Kobe, Steph, nobody really watched it. Mm-hmm. People want to watch the the big name stars of the NBA. As great as Denver is, right? And as great as Jokic is, they're boring to watch. There's no excitement to it. People want to watch something that feels iconic when it comes down to championship games. They don't want to watch just the purity of basketball. They want to watch the excitement of it all. They want a buzzer beater. They want a buzzer beater. At least where it's competitive. competitive. Or, or, or at least where you're watching, where you feel like you're watching a historic moment happen. I'm just go call it like it is, man. When they looked at the game, on when they looked at the South Carolina and Iowa game, I hate to say it, but it, it all boiled down to this white young lady, Caitlin Clark, versus this black team. I hate to say it, but it boiled down to black and white. And that's the reason why everybody watched it. Everybody did not want – they didn't want Caitlin Clark to win. They wanted the South Carolina team to win. And it boiled down to race. Right. Well, not completely. Now, how she got there was some Major- bullshit. I literally, watched it, I literally watched to see if they was going to give her some more BS calls because that call in the semifinal game was complete and utter BS. There's no way you make that call at that point in that game. Nope. Yeah, Under any circumstance, that. you let them play the shit out unless she straight tackled the chick or just ran right into her. The girl didn't even move. Set a screen. And they called an offensive foul. That was bullshit. Yeah, you don't you don't call that call. Yep, you don't. And you don't so now I'm and now I'm watching the game with an asterisk like. I wonder what kind of call she gonna get in the championship game. And she and, and if y'all seen it, uh uh it looked like it was gonna be her night starting off, man. Then my girl and and, and, and uh baby girl, my girl Raven's world Raven, Raven's world came in and put the claps on her, boy. Not Raven's Raven. world. Raven's world, baby. <laughs> I, I need for everybody, whether you men, whether it's men or women's basketball, look at what that young lady did. Remember, Caitlin waved her off last year in the semi. No, right there at the ball. She waved, she waved off in the hip like, she, I got her. She ain't going to do nothing. Oh, she, won, won, she won the second wooden. She won her second ever wooden award. Mm-hmm. Uh, Kaylin Clark did uh, today. Well, it was announced she won the second wooden award and everything. Uh, my only thing with this man, LSU, uh, dethroned Iowa from uh, for doing it last year, and. Uh, South Carolina beat them this year. They not uh, Iowa knocked off South Carolina last year in the national semifinal, and at that time South Carolina was undefeated then mm-hmm. when they knocked them off and everything. And uh, the disrespect, I think that's why Raven took it so personal. They showed a clip of uh, when Caitlin Clark when Raven was off. out there dribbling, and she was waved her off and stuff like, "You can take that shot. We don't get right. no confidence in you." Oh, okay. People remember that. And I know Don Staley with her being the coach she is and uh their uh their statistician guy, their their film guy, she was giving them props and stuff. He found the right motivation tool to push her button this whole year to motivate this young lady the whole entire season. Raven went into that game with the with the mindset of I'm gonna set my team up. 
I don't care if I score a point. When Kayla went off in that first quarter, she said, I bet I got her. I got her. <laughs> she gonna have to, she gonna have, she gonna have to work hard on me. Kaylin had four turnovers. Raven had four steals. <laughs> yep. And there and you go. And she had a block shot too. But you know what the biggest turnaround in that game was? You know what the biggest turnaround in that game was defensively for uh, South Carolina? What was that, Coach? They took away her space. Yep. They yes. closed it. They closed it down. The, she didn't get all of the wide open shots. If, if you watch the beginning of the game, Caitlin Clark had a lot of space to shoot yeah. the ball. Raven didn't give her half, in. That's all those bodies when she was taking those shots were real close to her. They could almost touch her and put a body on her every time she was shooting. Almost to the point where every time she shot, she was looking for a foul because somebody was that close and putting a hand on her. Right. And that's what you have to do against good shooters. You can't give them space. You always have to be touching them or near them. If you think about yeah. it, how do people try to get Steph Curry? They always try to be able to touch him. Uh huh. Yes. And that's exactly what South Carolina <laughs> did to Caitlin Clark. Even when she beat her defender, the next person that stepped up got close to her. Yeah. Right. And took away her space. Yeah. And they made every shot a little bit tougher. Yep, they made a work for every every that's inch. shot. And that's, that's good game plan. Now, now one thing I hope that don't happen. I hope Creepy Joe man don't invite the winner and the losers of the. He will. Uh, he did it last year. He will. Now, 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 if he does that, I don't mind him doing it intercollegiate sports. If you go invite the winners and the losers. Uh, to the White House. Hey, invite both of them. Don't just do it for women's sports. You got to do it for men. Do it across the board. Invite the champions and the runner-ups. Give both of the teams an experience. But uh, that's the only thing. If you're gonna invite, if you're gonna invite one, don't just don't just keep it at the women. Like invite UConn, then invite Purdue. Invite both teams if you go do it. Don't right. just invite. Don't just invite them because of Kaitlyn Clark. That's why Tennessee wasn't go. Didn't want to uh, go. I mean, not Tennessee. That's why LSU didn't really want to go last year because it took away from them in their championship run. Mm. So man, hey, Don Staley is gradually moving into one of the uh, upper echelons of coaches, man. She is moving into one of the upper echelon of coaches, man. She got a she got a ways to go to catch Gino. Uh, oh, ain't nobody yeah. catch Gino. Uh, uh. And Gino, G, Gino, He's and still that, coaching. That damn team go. That, that 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 Connecticut team will be back next year, man. But you know what? And what we over the weekend, right? And the what? viewership, what we witnessed over the weekend and the viewership of everything is the reason why talking about last week about Caitlin taking that five million to play in the big three. Uh -huh. That it should happen. Because I honestly think that women's basketball right now. We have an opportunity. You, too many eyes are on the sport right now. And with Caitlin Clark and Angel Reese both going into the WNBA. And then you're going to have Kay and Juju coming. You go, people are watching, so they're going to want to watch at the next level. 17,000 people were there for warm-ups 
to watch Caitlyn warm up before the championship game. You start getting those kind of numbers and then these ladies start making more money. The sport is yeah, but but here here's here's my only here's my only problem. You got people like Jennifer Tarasi who don't freaking ruin it. Still standing in WNBA, huh? Still holding on to that hope. Because it up, she's man. come out publicly. Well, she's come out publicly and and went at Caitlin Clark talking about you ain't gonna be playing against 18 year olds, you're gonna be in the league playing against grown women. And then she's publicly went at Angel Reese about the little wave talking about wave goodbye to your career. And all that bull crap. Now <clears throat> you starting to get players to come into the league that you should be just keeping your mouth shut and letting them enhance the game that you started where you couldn't enhance it to enhance the game more so you can do more so you don't have to go overseas and try to make more. You got right. people that's about to bring money into your league, and you running your stupid ass mouth, <laughs> trying to trying to start something with these kids coming in that's gonna bring more money to the league than you've ever brought into the league. Shouldn't, How about just should, shut up and play? Should she re, <laughs> should she be re, retiring age? Shouldn't she be at the age to retire, Coach? She probably only got a couple more years. She probably only got a couple more years. Yeah, she got to be at toward the end. Hey, man. Hey, but uh, speaking of next year, man, uh, the, the Lady Huskies, man, they losing, uh, they losing uh, Elena, uh, Elena Patterson, Elena Edwards, and uh, they are losing Elena Edwards and uh, Aubrey Griffin. And then they're the only two they losing. They later. they got everybody coming back next year, and one of the top recruiting classes coming in. Gino gonna be back in the championship game next year, man. Cause we and, hey um, we we know we 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 know I we know Iowa is gonna be back. Hey Chip, I think we know Iowa not gonna be back because I don't think they they oh, they, they, done. they not gonna have another Caitlin Clark. No, Iowa absolutely. ain't gonna be back. LSU, I mean, Kim Mulkey can get players. She can recruit her ass off. Kim Mulkey go be able to get players and stuff. And I didn't realize Kim Mulkey had as many national titles as she had, man. She got four national titles. I did not even know that. Yeah. I know she got, she got, did she get three with Baylor? Was it three with Griner? Yeah, she got three. Was with, it two? Uh, with Brother Brit, brother Griner and stuff, man. You know what? She got two with Brother Griner, and then she got Brother really Griner. One in the LSU. What'd you say, Coach? I think she got at least two with Brittany. She got two. Like I say, two with Brother Griner, man. The alphabet people going to get you. Yeah, they are. <laughs> hey, man. Hey, man. Because you didn't say it once. You said it twice just to make sure we heard it. Brother Grant, man, I will keep on saying it. Shit. I'm not finna bite my damn tongue, man. Shit. Silence, you funny fool. I had it with your whining and bumbling. Exactly, man. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man. Let me see. Where, where did Kim hey. Monkey win her titles at, man? Hey, uh, hey, hey, champ. What's up, C? I don't mean to get out the car, but your bet don't look good, bro. These don't tell me they jacking this game off. Is it? they no? They, they it won off? the game, but Giannis went down with a non-contact injury. Uh oh, a non-contact leg injury. He just kind of fell walking down the court. Oh man, that ain't cool, that's how boy. that's how fast and hot I'm gonna want this three-piece crunchy. <laughs> God, damn, man, that... I'm just saying. 
That ain't cool, baby. I tell you that. It ain't easy yeah, yeah. being greasy, baby. <laughs> Hey, Kim Mokey has three national titles with Baylor. That's why I was like, I don't know where you got four from because she got one LSU last year and two with Baylor. She three. got three with Baylor. She got four titles. She got one in the 2004 and five season. Then she got one with uh, Brother Griner in uh, 11. He's still in it. <laughs> then, she got, then she got one. Nah, she only got one with Brother Griner. That was an 18 19 season, wasn't it? Oh, it's Brother Grind in 2011 and 12. Oh, Kim Mokey, no. man. She got four of them, though, dog. Three with Baylor and one with LSU, man. Yeah, she got one in 2005 with Baylor, 2012 with Baylor, 2019 with Baylor, and then 2023 with LSU. Mm. And there it is. Yeah. And Don got three, right? Don got three. And uh, I think Pat Summit got seven or uh, eight of them. Eight. 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 <laughs> Pat Summit got eight. And she's right after Gino, right? Yeah, ain't nobody catching yep. Gino. Gino has 11. Yeah, ain't, ain't nobody, nobody catching that shit. Ain't nobody catching Gino. Gino went like three years and didn't lose a game. <laughs> think of three seasons and lose one damn game. Right. <laughs> Hey, hey, hey. You had the best, you had the best players in the country. Hey, man, hey. Wait a minute, like... and just got, hey, wait a minute, and just got the best player in the country. Hey, man. Mm -hmm. The best player hey. in the country just committed to UConn. She just committed. UConn and South Carolina are going to be beast again next year because half of UConn's team was on the bench. Injured. Hey, you coming back. Hey, man, I saw, I saw this man over the weekend with the Swedish Yukon Husky sweatsuit in the world. He had to be alumni of somebody because I ain't never seen no gear like this in any store, rack, or anywhere. I wanted to ask him where he got that mug from. It was so clean. I was like, my goodness, you got to be an alumni. I hope. <laughs> he, could bar yeah, he could barely walk. He was limping so bad. I'm like, man, you probably a booster. <laughs> hey, man, hey. One thing I learned last night, man, and uh, we got to give a shout out to the UConn men Huskies, man, uh, for winning a sixth national title in the school history. There's only four teams, man, with six national championships or better, man. UCLA Bruins, the Kentucky Wildcats, the North Carolina Tar Heels, and the Yukon Huskies, baby. Everybody else got five. Well, one day the damn sure. One thing for damn sure, it'll be 20 years before they win another one. Hey, don't you say that. Hey, don't okay, you say okay. That. all right. Be, all right, we get, we got something. We could, we, could, we could do a long bet. The bet is Carolina will win before Duke win another one. Ooh. That well, one, they, I'll take that bet. Coach they leave, win, what, what we gonna they wait? leave in North Carolina right now. <laughs> <laughs> they leave in North Carolina now. They best player left today. You talking about uh, Bacow? Trimble. Hey, left man. today. Entered the court. He did? Shit. Yep. I didn't know that. <laughs> yep. Sure I was like, he's he going to be nice next season. Yep, he is for somebody else. Hey, man. It's I mean, right kudos, though, man. I mean, they had some decent, they had some other decent players coming off the bench. We got three of the McDonald's All Americans that's coming to us. I know Duke got three that's coming to them, but hey, the rich get richer, man. That's all I gotta say, man. The rich get richer, man. We got it. We got six. Connecticut got six. Kentucky eight. UCLA eleven. That's it. We got everybody got their chips lined up and stuff, man. Uh, 
But UConn, man, they they got a lot of key pieces coming back. And one of the top recruiting classes coming in, they like number, top five recruiting classes. Dan Hurley will be back next year, man. I'm not going to say he going to repeat. So who has the best recruiting class in the country? Who? I tell you. <laughs> hey, man, rivals say it's the puke. It's the puke blue devils, man. Rivals the blue, say blue devils. You say that. Rival say it's puke, man. But hey, <laughs> I call them the fluke who devils. That's what I'm saying. Right? That's what rival say. Connecticut up there, Carolina up there, uh, UConn is up there too, man. UConn, Carolina, Duke. Uh, they say uh Tennessee got a good class coming in. Alabama got a decent class coming in. Uh, Kansas got another. Is Connect is is Connect gonna stay or is he? You think he out? Where at? For, uh, Tennessee, Alabama, Tennessee, Tennessee. Oh, he gone, man. He gone. Damn. Fuck no. Yeah, that's gone, why I was bro. like, man, this this y'all chance. They've never hey. been to a final four. No, that dude gonna be a lottery pick, nigga. He gone. <laughs> he gone. <laughs> he gonna get. He gonna get lottery money, partner. He, yeah, he out, out of there. there. He out of there. He ain't, hey, man, oh. hey, he out of there. Period. Who, who out of Dal- there? Dalton Connect. Oh, from Tennessee. Oh, 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 boy from Tennessee. What about uh, uh hey. Petty, Petty Stash from uh, Alabama? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, 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 they say he probably go mid, he probably <laughs> go late lottery, uh, but he'll, he'll be in that first. He gone too. Hey, we hey we talk about the guys that go uh get their bombers out them uh three bedroom apartments and stuff, dog. Out, hey. the, out them trailer parks, huh? <laughs> man, they down there and out. Hey, man, hey, they gonna get them up out of there, dog. Hey, they get them up out of there. Hey, man, they gonna make these moves, get this money, man. And I can't blame them, man. Uh, but I think uh Zach Eady is gonna be a pretty good pro, man. A lot of people. Don't think I think Zach Eady is going to be a good pro. I think he's going to be better than Yao Ming because a couple people were trying to draw comparisons with him and Yao Ming. I think he's going to be better than Yao Ming, man. I really do. I think Zach Eady will be way better than Yao Ming. If y'all beg to differ, let me know. He's more he's more <laughs> agile than Yao Ming. I I'll, I'll give him that. Yao was a little stiff. Very stiff. He had bad footwork. So will, will Zach Eady be the number one overall pick taken? What you think, Coach? I know you're cutting your stake up, man, but what you think? Zach Eady, number one overall pick? You're on mute, Coach. You're talking on mute, man. He didn't put he didn't he didn't start grubbing. He didn't just said hell with that. <laughs> If people need a big man. I don't know why they wouldn't take him, but you know how yeah. this league is. So if you look at the NBA, hey, okay, now who got the worst record? And you got to see who uh who will get in position to get them. The Pistons are in prime position. San Antonio, could you imagine? If he, if he, if San Antonio can get that number one pick and match uh, Zach Eady with Victor Wambayana, Twin Towers point two. Yeah, David Robinson, CM Duncan, two all over again. What well, on? Hey man, if 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 Pop get that boy, oh man, he gonna make a run to get one of these little free agents and stuff. Man. Hey man, but uh, shout out to the Yukon Huskies, Dan Hurley, winning another title, man. Another title, man. Uh, is that true what they said about Bronny James? Is he declaring for the draft? I hope not. They said he is, but he, he's also gonna uh, 
he's still keeping his eligibility. I, I guess he doesn't have an agent. Well, hell, he he actually does have an agent. His dad is an agent for real. Right. You, know, Brody, you know what Brody needs to do? Brody needs to enter the portal. Go to school. He need to enter the portal. Get out of get out of California. And go somewhere else. He should have never went to USC anyway, man. Yeah. He should. I would have went to UCLA over USC. No, he don't need to be in California. No, he don't. Get out of Southern California. He need to get out of Southern California. He need to go somewhere like Duke, North Carolina. All the way on the other coast. On all the way on the other coast. Go, go, hey, go to you. Hey, I can see him going to UConn somewhere, man. I'm just saying, go to UConn. Go, go, go somewhere else. You know why? Because. Unless his daddy retire, that means his daddy cannot be at every single game. Right. Because it ain't that free. Uh, his daddy gonna be there regardless. His daddy is gonna be the big interferer with everything you do. You do do y'all think uh LeBron is slowing Bronny's progress? I think he's slowing. I think he's. I think I don't know if he's slowing his progress, but so much attention is given to Ronnie because he's the firstborn, and people started throwing that attention at him when he was like ten years old. That Ronnie's not going to be able to be who he is. Like Ronnie could, like old girl, like old girl from South Carolina, right? Right. Uh huh. Raven is not going to be offensive. Juggernaut, right? She gonna be a steady eighty point, a steady point guard. She gonna be like a Drew Holiday, a female version of that. She gonna be able to lock in on the defensive side of the ball, pressure whoever your guard is, and get timely shots here and there. You know, Ronnie could be that. But he needs to go somewhere where somebody can bring that out of him. And not have LeBron be able to show up a crack. Yeah. Yeah. And Ron put too much. It's, it's like because Ronnie is not. Thing is, Bryce not Bryce is a better athlete than his little than his big brother. <laughs> He's gonna be the guy that's gonna be averaging 20 points a game. That's right. Bryce has that game. Uh-huh. Ronnie is gonna Ronnie Ronnie will be lucky if, if he gets to the league. And average is a solid like 10, 12 game. He might get about 10. He might be a nine assist guy, rebound. He's not gonna be his dad. Dang. Or anywhere close to it. And because his dad is he's right up under his thumb. That could be a bad decision. That could be some real bad for him, man. I mean, Brian is every time, every time. Like you remember that the only thing you need to remember is that Brian that, that LeBron is, is overshadowing his son is that image of that guy at the sitting courtside at the USC game and realizing that LeBron James was sitting next to him. Yeah. It's because Bronny's an average college basketball player. He's not above average. At best, at best average. He's not above average. Like, he can't, like, that's why I was saying that Bronny needs to stay in school. He need to come out maybe his junior year, right? Uh-huh. Because he don't, he kind of want to come out before Melo's son enters into the, into the into college basketball. Because Kanye ain't going to be a one and done. What grade is Cayenne in? He's like 16 or 17. So he's like a junior in high school. Oh, uh, 
So he want to make sure that he steer clear before that young, you know, Cayenne come out and stuff. Because he don't want, because he he don't need to be trying to come out at the same time as Cayenne Anthony because he's nowhere near that good. Mm -hmm. He's not as good Man. as Cayenne. He's not as good as any one of Gilbert Arena's boys. Well, one of his any one of his kids. No. But it's gonna be interesting where uh I think that uh he he's in a bad spot right now. Bronny is. I would say he's definitely in a bad spot. But uh if he goes, man, it's gonna be whoever drafts him and everything. And uh, he definitely don't need to come out now because he will get swallowed whole. People gonna go at him because he LeBron James's son. He will get that's swallowed it. whole, and that's that's the reason why they gonna go at him, man. So, uh, my boy Isaiah Thomas got signed through the end of the season with the Suns and stuff, man. I was listening to uh, the Plastic Cup Boys. They had a bet. Uh, Wayne and uh, <laughs> what's the name of made a five hundred dollar bet. Uh, Wayne and uh. And uh, Spank, they made a five hundred dollar bet that uh, the Suns wouldn't sign Isaiah Thomas through the end of the season. And uh, shit, he 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 there. He the will been need, helping them out and stuff, man. The Suns need anybody that can put the basketball in the hoop. They do. They do. <laughs> hey man, let's go jump off and talk. What the hell's man? What the hell is our segment, man, that had you scratching your head and saying, man, what the hell just happened, man? Cece got, gave me her what the hell. And I'm going to pull it up for her. Yeah, you know, I was I was inspired by you. I thought I saw this and thought of you. I I, I am so proud of you, Cece. Without further ado, let's see what Cece's what Hold on, head. Hold on one second. One second, BP. Hold on one <laughs> second before you do that. I'm going to go ahead and close the poll out for the night. Give me one close second. Close our poll out. Hold on, hold on. The poll has closed. Your voices have been heard. The poll question for tonight. Will the Bucks finish the season with a worse record under Doc Rivers? A resounding yes. All votes. Yes. Unanimous. Man. Unanimous. That's, that's BS, man. Hey, <laughs> six people, that's enough. I didn't vote, man. So damn Okay, it, I one. Vote. I ain't vote on none of my devices, man. <laughs> hey, man, that's 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 BS. They're gonna see seeds. What the hell? Is it a cat? I think it's a squirrel. Got your ass. <laughs> Y'all better leave these damn animals alone. We say it all the time. I don't believe Fat Me Greasy, do you? Leave it was the it was, animals alone. it was the scream. No, it was the uh, I'm saving you. I'm saving you. That's where I hey, want to say he, he, he I look, it's a pool. I know what I'm doing. Beat it. Man, I <laughs> I've been in this situation several times. I'm saving you. Gonna... you. <laughs> saving my me from what? I'm chilling. My co my co hey, my brothers and sisters out there, man. Y'all, hey, leave these damn animals alone, man. Y'all are not smarter than these animals, man. <laughs> Y'all not smarter than these animals, man. Leave these damn animals alone, man. Leave these damn animals alone, man. Man, the Warriors ain't the Warriors was slick the other night. They ain't slick. Talk right, about something. Man. Andrew Wiggins had a sprained ankle. He had a hangnail. Yeah, he, 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 he had a sprained ankle. They, they they was honest. They they because they could rest Steph because of the rule, because of rest. Coincidentally, both of them are back in the starting lineup tonight against the Lakers. He he had a bunion. <laughs> a bunion. He had a, a corn. Bunion. 
A goddamn bunion, man. Do those, hey, do the, real talk. Do the motherfuckers exist anymore? Because I I haven't heard anybody complain about a bunion or a corn in at least 30 years. You better stop. Hey, man, you better wake up. They I mean, do after, exist. They get them all the time. They just probably call them something else. They ain't call a bunion or a corn anymore. Yeah, they just call it, you know, foot soreness. Bursitis <laughs> of the of the metacarpal on the left. <laughs> they give you right, the you got term. you got you got to Google what it is. <laughs> I remember they said something. I forgot what it Get was. Gangrene. It was some injury or something that Steph or Clay had, and I googled it. I said they butt hurt. <laughs> Porn. <laughs> like, why could we just like? Why do we got to be so technical? Just make it simple. He got a damn corn. Okay, I understand. That's enough to not play because you do a lot of planting, and if your foot kicking your ass, that's kind of hard to play. Hey man, hey CC, I love I love what you did. That I got a couple. I got a couple. What the hell? I'm gonna let you do yours, D. But I got. Hey, I got to stay with CC's momentum right here, man. Hey, man, to my Caucasian brothers and sisters, man, I love y'all, man. But you motherfuckers, y'all go learn. You motherfuckers don't believe fat meat greasy, do you? And I'm finna show you, I'm finna show you motherfuckers why. Okay, here we go, baby. Here we go. It's cold, I know. You're freezing. Got a lot of fur, though. Ow, motherfucker. Son of a bitch got me. Ow. No damn shit. coyotes. Come here. It's cold, I know. You're freezing. You got a lot of fur, though. Ow, motherfucker. Son of a bitch got me. Ow. Goddamn coyotes. Come here. It's cold, I know. You're freezing. You got a lot of fur, though. Ow, motherfucker. Yeah, motherfucker, I'm hungry too. Ow! You forgot God damn about coyotes. that part. Right. It's cold. It's and cold in his teeth. Look at this. This is the ultimate scene right here, man. Do you think this is a game? He straight Kujo his ass. But his reaction was priceless. Look at what he said, though. Look what he said, man. Damn, Coyote. Come here. It's cold, I know. You're freezing. You got a lot of fur, though. Ow, motherfucker. Son of a bitch got me. Ow. Goddamn Coyotes. Then you're going to get mad at damn Coyote. He thought you was offering your hand up yeah, for some. First of all, you don't do that to a dog. No, so why the fuck would you do it to a wild coyote? Hey, man. You don't do that to a dog. Hey, Coach Corey. Yeah, he, he getting all these motherfuckers. Hey, Coach Corey. <laughs> your rent's due, motherfucker. Yeah, yeah. Pass the dress down. Hey, man. <laughs> hey, Coach. <laughs> Hey man, what did you think that coyote was gonna do, man? Lick his face. <laughs> what he thought he was gonna jump in the car and go home with him? <laughs> you, thought, hey, you thought you was gonna have a pet coyote, Jack and Hot Jack Hole? They ain't gonna get hey. mad at the coyote. Damn coyotes! That's what he thought. <laughs> you gonna try to domesticate a wild animal? Okay. Hey man, he should have been. He should have been his ass one time. He probably didn't like the taste of the meat. Hey should have done like. Should have done like when Malcolm Raptor did that old boy in Jurassic World, the first one. Hey Not man. enough season. Hey, he didn't have enough seasoning. <laughs> you know what he needed? Some of that V seasoning. That's what he, he put hey that man. shit on there. Hey, man, Chef VC, I, put some of that Chef, Chef V seasoning on that bitch. Hey, hey, Dino, Coach Corey, Dino, y'all got it. What the hell? I got one more, man. A classic. I, I, I got one, but oh. I don't really need. I don't really need to 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 put footage in for it because we all knew 
what went what went on yesterday around 1:50 p.m. Central Standard Time. It was the total eclipse. Uh, the last time we had a total eclipse uh, in this area was not night was not 2017. That was a partial. I believe 1994 was the last time we had a total eclipse come through this area. I was still in high school. So my wife didn't understand why it was such a big deal. And then I had to explain to her, hey, this shit don't happen every year. The next one ain't for another 40 years. And then you'd have to travel like a gazillion miles north to see it. So yeah. this essentially could be the last time we see one. Being that I'm pushing 50. This might be it. I never ever get to see it again. So we made a day out of it. You know, we took off. We drove south. The plan was to drive south to get into the totality range. So we needed to go at least about 150 miles south, right? Jackson. Uh We were going to drive to Jackson, Missouri. We figured it wasn't a big city. It was real small, kind of off the beaten path. I wouldn't be dealing with the crowds and like St. Genevieve or Cape Girardeau. I was like, hey, we'll go to Jackson. We were promised about four and a half Your minutes of total got tricked. <laughs> It gets worse. Got tricked, I bet. Everything was great. You no, know, your boy got a telescope. You know, I'm a geek like that. So I had my binoculars. I had my telescope. I had a tripod with the phone. I took the glasses. I cut the bitches in half. Cut up my phone lens so it don't mess up my camera. Your boy was ready. You hear me? You heard me, West 10. Your boy was ready. Get in the car. <laughs> We get in the car. And, and you got your ass got about three miles away and couldn't get no further. <laughs> no, it's it, it gets worse, coach. What, what we happened? get to we get to 55. We took we took 70 to 55. We was gonna take 55 straight down. According to maps, it was an hour and 45 minute drive. The way I drive it was gonna be like more than an hour and a half or an hour and twenty-five. We passed 55 and passed Butler Hill Road. And when I tell you, you thought the zombie apocalypse started because the motherfucking, it just stopped. It was stopped, baby. Fucking five miles an hour, news, 10 miles know. an hour for an entire hour. We hadn't even got to the part where the highway goes from five lanes to two lanes. Damn. So we just sitting there. She looking at me like, I took off of this shit. I said, hey, look, <laughs> I had a plan. It's not working out. We 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 gonna power through the shit. Right? We're gonna power through it. We gonna get we gonna get there. So after two hours of so traffic. Over and got a Mizzou hat. <laughs> no, I actually had this on yesterday. I actually had this on yesterday. So after two hours of sitting in the traffic, we started moving, right? I look at the time and I see this damn sky started to change. I'm like, fuck, it's starting. I said, uh, we gonna have to stop at St. Genevieve. So we pulled off the highway, found like a commuter parking lot, and it was like another maybe 50 cars there. And people were set up. So we just we just set up there and we got to see it just in time. I got I got footage, I got my cameras, you know, she got to see it, and it, it, was, it was a good thing. But that traffic fucking was, was awful. But that wasn't the awful part. My what the hell goes out to motherfucking Mo Dot. <laughs> you, you muted BP. Why you, you muted. why you pissed off at Mo Dot? I'm gonna tell you why I'm pissed off at Mo Dot. Mo Dot didn't tell all you motherfuckers to go. No, because motherfucker, y'all knew this shit was Modot coming for seven is years. Not possible for all you motherfuckers trying to... why, why the fuck? Why the fuck you gonna schedule construction? Hey. If you knew all these people was coming to this area for this celestial phenomenon, and you had a seven-year fucking head start. It's called. <laughs> hey, we should probably fix Highway 55 first. Fuck 170. Fuck 44. We probably should fix 55 first because it's going to get heavily used around this time. Or we wait to after and then start construction. Hey, Coach, this nigga mad at Modot for doing that. Fuck Modot, man. And fuck Festus because that's where the shit really got fucked up. He mad at Modot. Fuck Festus. Because Modot don't give a damn about no goddamn celestial thing <laughs> coming seven years. Yeah, they working every day 
Now. Hey, working on Sunday. Hey, working on Sunday, too. Seven years. Hey, Modoc working on right. Sunday with every day. Man, they working. I'm just saying, man, you can have some foresight with your with and you can you have got, better foresight with your planning. You knew this shit was happening. Man, they this is like made. this is like we get the they final got, four. We get the man, final four. But we have no preparation baby, to accommodate all the influx of people that's coming into the city hey. to watch the game. Hey man, this, this nigga is got for the planning. Man. This nigga Fuck them. Yeah, let y'all get the buzz again. Shit. Oh, Sunday. He can't even get people to foresight their next project in two weeks. He won't be the some shit seven You had a seven year leeway, coach. Fuck. <laughs> it's not like you hey, just found out about the they, shit two months ago. They don't you know about the shit for seven years. Hey, no. man. Fuck hey. you. Hey, we got. We don't even know he's gonna be working in two weeks. Send the man, fucking asteroid. Man, we got we got an impromptu. What the hell? And it goes to Dino for getting upset that both die for doing that mm-hmm. goddamn job. <laughs> hey, man, the people gotta eat, man. They got family. Hey, take a motherfucking break. <laughs> Won't you take take the day off? Hey man, I I heard oh, something. This nigga mad shit. at Modi, man. Hey, that's some funny shit, dog. He's mad at Modi because man. they didn't fix Highway 55 seven years before the day. <laughs> it didn't have to be seven years before, but they the shit should have been wrapped up way before now. Yeah, it's, 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 y'all it's deadline should have been 2023. Hey, we got six years to hey, get man. this shit fixed. They, they, they they on contraction. Hey, contraction. Man, fuck hey, fastest. The hell with this bridge that's about to collapse. <laughs> He's about to fix 55. You had six years. <laughs> hey, hey, the hell. Hey, you had six hey, years. Hey, hey, they the literally hell. wait till shit is about to collapse before they get their hey, ass out there and fix it. Hey, the hell with the loose foundation on the Eve's Bridge and the McKinley Bridge. In the popular street. Yeah. Yeah. But that he that, that wasn't the, the problem. Man. That wasn't the problem. The problem was down south in the sticks. You know, they a little slow down there. I heard that. Hey, man, that is funny as hell. Yeah. Coach, man, that? you got. That's funny, man. This hey, I'm just saying. I'm a little secret right about now. This if you ain't watching the, the Warriors Lakers game, you might want to turn it on after you Oh my God! Man. Did the Bucks finish the job? Hey man, I got a question. Oh, no, yeah, they, they won the game, but Coach, you know, they might have lost Giannis. But they won Coach, what's, what's, right, your right, what the, right. what's your what the hell, Coach? Hey man, what the hell goes out to the former Cavs coach? Hey, what the hell goes out to the former Kentucky basketball coach John Calipari? <laughs> <laughs> Hey man, hey, you got so bad in Kentucky that you broke up, coach. One more time, I mean, coach. Said, and shit gotten so bad in Kentucky that you have to go to Arkansas to coach basketball, John Calipari. This dude here, man, he didn't get fired. He just said, hey, man. He quit. I'm going to go to Arkansas. I'm going to go to Arkansas. Last time I checked, Arkansas ain't won nothing. They ain't got nothing. They ain't had nothing. Since 1994. And you going to leave Kentucky to go to Arkansas? Yes, man. And then on top of that, you had the nerve to go to the University of Kentucky and tell them they should outbid Arkansas and try to get more money to, to get you to stay in Kentucky. Man, what the hell is wrong with you, yeah? <laughs> Man, sit your ass down. If you want to stay in Kentucky, you should never even entertain Arkansas. 
never in the game or win some damn basketball game. God, dog, man. It's a results based business, no matter who the coach is. This dude go go negotiate a contract and then go back to the university and say, "Hey, man, I should outbid Arkansas." <laughs> Who does that? Crackhead. Da- a damn Who does fool. That? A damn fool. Your rent's due, motherfucker. Hey, man. Hey, I, hey, Come Coach. On, what, what you got to tell Isn't John Calipari, Coach? What you got to tell John Calipari? Hey man, what the yeah, hell, good. John? Hey man, I got a couple of quick. You can't words. go to Arkansas, man, and try to mess up Nola Richardson. Legacy, man. Legacy, legacy, legacy. Hey man, I got two more, man. Hey, y'all gonna die laughing when I show y'all this, man. Here go one of the two, man, which is hilarious, man. Got our asses kicked by an undefeated fucking team, and I'm pissed off. Caitlin Raven was locking you up like you were a fucking criminal. That's crazy. Who just farted? Was that you, Gabby? That was gross. Anyway, good season, ladies. Caitlin, I hope you go and make that five million from the big three, Ice Cube. If not, enjoy the WNBA. Who <laughs> farted? Oh, man. It did. Oh, man. <laughs> That was hilarious, man. But then I got to go with my boy, man. Oh, shit. What the hell? Now you know oh, the flies ain't going to lie. Oh, <laughs> brother, if, you, if, you, if the flies on your shoe and your foot in your shoe, do you know it smell like do, 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 <laughs> Oh, brother, man. The flies ain't going to lie. What the hell? <laughs> Now you know, oh, the flies ain't gonna lie. Oh, brother, if you, if you, if the flies on your shoe and your foot in your shoe, do you know it smell like do, 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 Oh, oh my god, I got it. Why did you? Uh, fuck it. Fuck. Hey, me the ball. Hurry up. Oh, shit. You good, coach? Hey, me, dude, man. The fuck. Give it to me. Uh, oh, please tell me it's not uh, real. Oh my god, I got it. Zesty Whitey. Hooper. Uh, fuck it. Man, is this real? Hey, hey, me the ball. Hurry up. I'm so good. Hey, man. And last but not least, man, this is this class. This is for the my boy. The net is Dino. connected to the rope, but it's jammed. So we need someone to go up and shake it loose. How are we supposed to get up there? God damn, you're dumber than a dictionary with no definitions. With a fucking ladder, bitch. Shut your argyle dildo <laughs> collecting ass the fuck up. If there was a fucking ladder around, I wouldn't ask the question. She's right, Fred. I don't see any ladder. It must be up his damn ass. How the fuck would I be walking around with a whole ladder up my ass? How could I pull that off? How could... Who do you know? Do you know someone that's told you I've done that? Wait! Maybe Shaggy can reach it? He's tall as fuck! Good idea, Velma. He's tall enough to finger bang an alien. Shaggy, help us with the rope. I can't reach that shit. Are y'all fucking high, man? Uh, no. no. <laughs> like it'd be a lot cooler if you were. I got it. What if I sit on your shoulders? That would give us the height we need to grab. Nigga, gra- hell no! Huh? You ain't bound to put your balls on my neck. Well, if that bothers you, what if I sit on your shoulders facing fuck forward? no! Like, why the fuck are you so weird? Would you do it for a Scooby snack? <laughs> Bitch, did you just offer me a dog biscuit? Huh? Wait! I you thought must that- pay your hairdresser and dog treats as well, huh? Well, I was just, uh, I ought to slap thought- the jinkies out your ass! <laughs> the net is connected to the rope, but it's jammed, so we need someone to- <laughs> Try the little boy Shaggy, man! Oh, man. He said, you know how to put your nuts on my neck? <laughs> hey, man. 
Why did they try to look boy Shaggy, man? <laughs> <laughs> they tried to look, they tried to look boy Shaggy, man. Like he been just let Fred put his nuts on his neck, man. Yeah, yeah, huh? <laughs> <laughs> you know what happened? Hey, man. Hey, that nigga Shaggy say, no, man. He said you dumber than a dictionary with no definite. <laughs> Hey man, that is <laughs> hey man, between my boy Ace Vane and oh. sneaker and sneaker preacher saying that dude got a doodle in his shoes, man, what the hell, man? What in the hell, brother? <laughs> hey man, hey man, we had some good what the hell's tonight, man. I, oh, I ain't gonna shit. lie, man. Hey man, between hey, last fuck week, Maudai, still. Hey man, they don't, they don't still angry as shit, man. Hey man, between last week when the little dude swung the bat and hit the umpire in the head, and this, now Dino still pissed off. <laughs> Dino, 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 Dino still angry as hell at what's the name of man? Dino hey, bro, eight hours head. in the car, and I only should have been in the car for four. Dino, if you would have called me, I would have hey, told you. Hey, man, we Hey, hey only, thing, only thing you had to do. Hey, Dino, you could have went to Atlanta. Dino, you could have yeah. been, hey, been a lot better and went over to Mount Vernon, Illinois, <laughs> go over to the park, and everybody, <laughs> hey, you saw everything at Mount Vernon, Illinois, man. And Mount Vernon ain't number like an hour. I went 10 minutes away over towards Illinois, and you wouldn't have to deal with no traffic. You sure about that? I'm 100% hey, sure. I, I died ain't that much better. Hey, man. Don't give hey, me no I died. Hey, we ain't fixing no highways. <laughs> Shit, y'all always fixing highways. Hey. Every time you go to Chicago, it's construction. No. I've been no, going to Chicago for 30 years. You ass at home and watch that. No, nah, we, we, we didn't get, we didn't get, dark, we didn't get right darkness here. up here. We didn't get, we wasn't in totality. It wouldn't have had the same man. effect. Hey man, nothing. Man, I was as total as I needed to be. <laughs> you went total enough, we did you, Coach? Total as we needed it. Right, hey, man. I was total enough. What you say, Coach? You was total. Hey man, John Calabar just confirmed that he leaves in Kentucky. Damn! Breaking news, right here on No Balls, No Glory. He gone. John Calabar. Cal is gone, term, huh? He is leaving the University of Kentucky. Damn. Man, I wish him well, man. But hey, another amazing episode of No Balls, No Glory, man. Check us out on Thursday, man. We're going to slide on out of here like last year. It is what it is. As we prepare for the uh, NHL playoffs. Thank you, the Mill Woods. And big shout out to Mill Woods. Get their address again, coach. Mill Woods Sports Bar and Grill, 12068 Dorset Road, Maryland Heights, Missouri, 63043. If you're in the area, stop in. Great food, great atmosphere. Great people, man. Great music, great people. Karaoke. Tuesday That's night it. is karaoke. Come up, get you a song, sing. Play get you food. some food and a drink, uh, man. A lot of table games. Get you some good food. There's some billiard, some billiard table up Taco there too. You want to get bust down? That's it, man. Yep. Check us out. Billiard Check us table. out. They got a lot of games up here. Beer pong. Oh man, you gotta love it, man. Check us out on Thursday, man. Peace. <laughs>